Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to test a car relay quickly. So briefly, what is a relay? Well, it's an electronic switch that basically turns on high voltage or 12 volt circuits. So when you press a button on the dashboard for lights or wipers, it creates a little electromagnetic field with this coil and it closes a contact which then turns on the circuits. Just a cheaper uh, than having uh, 12 volt wires all over the car and, and adding weight and cost to the car. So what's well, a quick way of testing it then? We've got this, which is a, a relay tester. Got this off eBay for nine pounds. And as you can see, there's different layouts on here for five pin or four pin uh, setups and you can change which uh, whichever setting you're using and you test it so uh, all i've done is hook it up to a battery with the two leads that's, that come with it and then i've got a five uh, five pin and a four pin just to test it so uh, first of all select which one it is that you want to use so four pin in this case and then pop it into the one that fits the correct shape like so and then press test all it's going to do is it's going to cycle the relay through 10 times and all that's going to do is make sure, obviously, that it works. But obviously, relays do tend to stick. So that when they get old, they tend to stick and they'll leave a circuit on and you might get a parasitic drain or it may not turn on altogether, obviously, if it's broken. So it's going to cycle it through 10 times and just check, make sure it's functioning correctly and it's not sticking. It's going to give us a green or red light, depending on, on how it does with the test. So just let it cycle through 10 times. If you've got somebody else, when you're doing this test, you can just leave it in the car, turn the lights on and hold it and you can feel it click in and you can hear it obviously on the video um, but if you're doing it on your own and you're doing this day in day out as an auto electrician it's a nice quick way of testing so that one cycled through 10 times without sticking or failing so that one's okay and then all i'm going to do is demonstrate on a five pin on one that i know is faulty so moved it to five pin again put it in there it's a bit tight because it's an old one so here we go there we go let's get in and then i'm going to test the five pin red light straight away. So the coil inside that or the switching mechanisms failed. Um, so if I was an auto electrician and my lights weren't working, I've tested the relay, that goes straight in the bin and replaced and, and hopefully that's uh, your, um, your fault uh, corrected. Hope that makes sense. See you on the next one.